Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me as we talk some movie news. So in this episode of Review Flicks, we're going to be talking about Jurassic World 4. It looks like another veteran MCU actor, Scarlett Johansson, has been in talks with Universal to join the franchise. So we're going to be diving into all the news we know so far about that upcoming Jurassic World movie right here in this video. But if you are new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all the movie and streaming news we have going on on this channel. And with that down, we're going to jump into this article here from comicflicknews.com. So Scarlett Johansson reportedly in talks for epic lead role in Jurassic World 4. Studio executives have already met with Johansson to discuss the forthcoming movie. Marvel's influence continues to shape the Jurassic World franchise as another star from the universe might be making their mark. So yeah guys, when I first heard this news this morning, I was so so excited. I mean, another Marvel actor coming across from the MCU to the Jurassic World franchise. I mean, it's great to hear Scarlett Johansson possibly being part of Jurassic World 4. I mean, she's a brilliant, talented actress, world-class performer. She elevates pretty much all the material that she's in. And I think Jurassic World has a bright future if she's gonna be one of the lead actors in the franchise going forward. I can't wait to see what she does. I think it's going to be amazing and uh, we'll have to wait and see. So as reported by the Insider, Scarlett Johansson is rumored to take the helm in Jurassic World 4, stepping into the spotlight previously held by Chris Pratt across the trilogy. So sources suggest that the MCU veteran has already engaged in discussions with director Gareth Edwards and Jurassic Park producer Frank Marshall. Yet while Universal Pictures has extended the offer, Johansson's response remains undisclosed. So it seems like there hasn't been an official casting announcement from Universal just as yet. They're probably finalizing the contract, you know, probably crossing the T's, dotting the I's, finalizing the offer before they announce it to the public. But as I say, Scarlett Johansson, world-class performer, and the fact that we have Gareth Edwards, the director behind the 2014 Godzilla movie and the recent creator movie where the CGI was unbelievable. Having Gareth Edwards and Scarlett Johansson working together in this movie gets me all the more excited and I think it's going to be something real, real special. I love the Jurassic World franchise. You know, dinosaurs eating people, you know, take my money. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's keep reading. I love this um, logo as well. Just kind of the classic Jurassic Park logo of the T-Rex with the smoke coming through the background. It looks so, so cool. So plot specifics uh, for the forthcoming Jurassic World chapter are shrouded in secrecy, but whispers suggest it could bear the title Jurassic City. David Coop, the mastermind behind Jurassic Park's original screenplay, is crafting the narrative. Yeah, I completely forgot about that as well. The guy who wrote the original Jurassic Park is coming back to write this movie. So not only do we have Gareth Edwards, the guy behind 2014's Godzilla, we also have MCU veteran Scarlett Johansson, and we have the original writer from the Jurassic Park movie itself. This is an incredible lineup. It doesn't get any better than that. All the parts are there. Let's just hope they can stick the landing and make a really, really great movie. So joining the creative fray, Steven Spielberg has committed as an executive producer under Amblin Entertainment alongside Marshall. It depends. He could be an executive producer, as it says here, but... How much input will he really actually have on the movie? Will he just be a consultant? Will he actually be on set? You know, could he just be at the end of a phone having a conversation with the director? We don't actually know how much input he's going to have. Producer, the term producer is a very kind of vague term. So he could have a massive input. He could have little input. But Steven Spielberg being attached is definitely exciting all the more. So in what promises to be a franchise reboot, none of the beloved characters from prior installments are anticipated to make a return signaling a fresh start for the prehistoric saga. I think though, even though none of the characters are coming back, I think they should do a cameo from Chris Pratt. He's such a beloved person when it comes to this franchise. I would love to see him cameo in one of the upcoming Jurassic World movies going forward. I think that would be fantastic to have him back in there at some point, but do it as a surprise cameo. And um, I think fans will really, really appreciate that. So the Jurassic Park franchise has experienced a spectrum of success. So I put this here, guys. Um, we can have a look at the Jurassic uh, franchise as a whole. Let's quickly take a look at the box office numbers. So Jurassic Park, 1993, 
um, made a billion, 58 million. The Lost World um, went on to make 618. Jurassic Park 3, that was the low point for the franchise, Jurassic Park 3. I actually really, really love that movie. I know I'm in the minor minority there, but I thought Jurassic Park 3 was actually really, really fun. That was um, 365 million, so that was the very, very low point of the franchise. Then we go on to Jurassic World, which kind of rebooted the franchise. That made over a billion six hundred million. That's insane how much money that movie made. 1.6 billion. Then we had Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. That dropped a bit to 1.3 billion. Then we had Jurassic World Dominion, the latest movie, and that made a billion. So the Jurassic World um, trilogy, all the films in the trilogy have made over a billion dollars. This franchise is a mega hit. It makes mega dollars. So you know they're going to continue to crank out these films in the future. Let's just hope they can do a decent job. 2015, the franchise was reinvigorated with Jurassic World. Helmed by director Colin Trevorrow, he did a fantastic job with that movie. Set years after the event of the original trilogy, the narrative unveils a fully operational dinosaur theme park on Isla Nublar. However, when a genetically engineered dinosaur escapes, the park uh, plunges into turmoil. This revival was followed by two uh, sequels, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Domination. Uh, Dominion, not Domination, <laughs> Dominion. <laughs> Anticipation mounts for Jurassic World 4 as it's slated to hit theatres worldwide July 2nd, 2025. A lot of people were so shocked when they heard that this movie, Jurassic World 4, was coming out next year. Um, I would have thought it would be 2026 or 2027. The fact that it's coming out next year is all the more surprising. But now, with rumours of Scarlett Johansson's attachment, it's all the more exciting. But um, guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Are you more excited to hear that Scarlett Johansson could be the lead role in the upcoming Jurassic World 4? Do you think it's a good fit? Do you think it's a bad fit? Let me know your thoughts, uh, thoughts comments, and opinions. Getting my words mixed up. Thoughts, comments, and opinions, I meant. And um, I can't wait to see what you have to say about this. It's one of my all-time favorite franchises, so I hope that she really nails the role if she gets it. And um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.